Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add featured products on Shopify and also how to edit featured products on Shopify. The first thing I want you to do is go on your Shopify admin page. Once on the admin page, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you are going to select online store. Once you have selected online store, you will be redirected to the themes page. On your themes page, what I want you to do is simply tap on customize. After you have selected customize, you will be redirected to the editor page. On the editor page, once you are on the home page, as you can see right here, you are going to go over to the left hand menu option and you will see featured collection. You are going to tap on that. After selecting featured collection, you could change the heading if you want from something else. You can also change the heading size. So at the moment it is set at small. If I would like to increase it to medium or to large, I can do that. As you can see right there, you can also scroll down. You could add a description if you want. And you could also tap in this box to show the collection description from the admin. You can also change the description style if you wanted to by simply tapping right there. Now, if you wanted to change the products that are in the collection, you will need to create a collection. To create a collection, all you'll need to do, you're going to tap right where you see change. Then from there, you could tap on change collection. After you have tapped on change collection, you're going to tap on the plus. Once you have tapped on the plus, it is going to automatically redirect you to the collection page on Shopify. In the collection page, you'll be able to name your collection by simply tapping on the title. Let's say I were to name this collection test. Then you could add a description here if you want. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down. And by scrolling down, you can choose the collection type, whether you would like it to be automated. So for example, you can set all products that are in a particular price range or you can select your best sellers or you can use product tags or so on. There are numerous options you could use or you can tap on manual and then from there you will be able to select the products that you would like to add. For example, I will be using manual so I'll simply tap on manual then select save in the bottom right hand corner. Once it has been saved, it is now time to add the products. To add the products, all you'll need to do is scroll down. Then you're going to tap on search products and you're going to select browse. After selecting browse, you can select the products that you would like to add. Then tap on add. After you have done that, you can see sort by best selling. If you have numerous products, you could do that. Once everything is there liking, all you'll need to do now is tap on save. But since this product is already in a collection, what I will need to do is create a new product. So let me do that real quick. I'm going to tap on products, then I'm going to select add products. And after selecting add products, let me simply create a random product. So let me do that quickly. I'll tap type in random, then I'm going to upload a new image. I'll do that now. Let me do that quick look. You can also add a description if you want. Then I'll tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once the collection has been created, all you'll need to do now is tap on online store once more. Once you have selected online store, you are going to select customize once more beside the theme that you're using. So let's do that. We're going to tap on customize right here. After we have tapped on customize when we're on the editor page, again, we're going to go over to the left hand menu option, tap on featured collection. Then once we have selected featured collection, all we'll need to do is simply scroll down and right where you see change, you can tap right there. Then you'll tap on change collection. And let's say I were to select this collection, you can see it right there. And I will tap on select so you can see the product right there. And by scrolling down, you can also choose if you would like to add the add to cart button. You can do that by simply scrolling down. You can tap on enable quick add button. 
And if you'd also like to choose or better to show the vendor, you can do that. By tapping on Enable Quick Add button, you can see that the Add to Cart button is now available. You can also edit how it looks on mobile layout by the number of columns as you can see right there. And you can scroll back up and if you would like to change the background color or the text color, you can do that by simply tapping on Edit. Then let's say for example, I wanted to change the text color to red or green. I'll simply tap on green and you can see it right there. Or let's say I wanted to change it to red. You can see that it has now changed. But the thing that I don't like about this is if you change the text color for featured products, it changes the text color for practically all text on your Shopify store. But I'll be looking into how to change the text color for featured products only. So I'll leave it at black. You can also change the background color. But again, by changing the background color for this section, it will change the background color for all sections on your store. So if you were to choose a different background color, it would change it to all sections for all sections better yet. Once you have made your changes, all you'll need to do now, you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. And by the way, you can change the image ratio as you can see right here, whether you'd like it to be portrait or you would like it to be square, you could do that. But I'll tap on adapt to image you can change the image size if you want or shape better yet. So let's say you would like it to be an arch. You could do that as you can see right there. If you'd like it to be a diamond, you can also do that. As you can see, there are numerous editing options. You can show second image on hover if you want by simply tapping on that. Once everything is there like in, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Once more, once you have selected tests, I'm going to simply scroll down and I'm going to add the other product. So I'm going to select browse then I'm going to add this random product, tap on done. After you have done that, you're going to scroll down and let me remove the product that was added before. After you have done that, you can now tap on save. Let me do that real quick. You can see it right there. After you have added the product, you can also add a description if you want. Then I'll tap on save in the top right hand corner. Once the collection has been created, all you'll need to do now is tap on online store once more. Once you have selected online store,